Hello guys, Mr. Place here coming to you with another tutorial, this time on Photoshop. This uh, might be the first experience that you've had in Photoshop. So uh, let's get right into it. I've opened up Photoshop. It's a fantastic program. Uh, we use it every day, graphic artists, um, webmasters, and anybody who's working with visuals and, and graphics uh, definitely is using Photoshop. Uh, if you're in the video production industry, I speak to people all the time and uh, they say it's uh, part of their daily workflow. So Photoshop is really important and remember the Photoshop skills that we learn will transfer, uh, will transfer over to Premiere Pro and After Effects. So it's part of the Adobe collection and uh, it's a fantastic way to start. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do uh, right now is I'm just going to minimize Photoshop and we're going to start our first project and by now you should know that we have a Massey TV that's video production alias and we have a master folder so the proper workflow in our class is we are going to always go to the master folder I'm sorry the uh, video production alias and what we want to do is we want to go to the handout folder because we're going to get a folder so the handout folder is stuff you get from me and things that you hand in to me for marking is the hand in folder obviously we'll talk about share a different time but these are the three that we use in our daily workflow and video production so let's get right into it let's go to the hand out folder you guys are in vp 20s photoshop so one photoshop we're doing a photoshop intro and what we want to do is grab this folder right here so when i say grab all we're going to do is we're going to copy it okay close down your window if you want here and we're going to go into our master folder, which is basically our local computer, right? So wherever we, whenever we start a project, we want to work directly locally on our computer. So we, we do a copy from the video production the server, uh, Massey TV, and we go to Photoshop in our master folder. We right-click and we paste. So we've copied it from the server to our computer. Inside this folder, you're going to know, notice that there are a, a whole bunch of different icons and images and things that I've given you. And um, I provide the footage for you. If you want to see a completed project, there's a folder right here. And uh, we can double click on it. Just have a quick look. So um, basically, I'm going to give you all the assets and all the media, a background castle. And, and you're going to use Photoshop to place other objects or assets within your Photoshop document. Okay, so we've got some birds and night. Um, Olivia decided that she'd bring in her own uh, raft, which isn't part of that, but there's a dragon too. Uh, and there's also a sky in the background. So let's get out of this picture. That is an example of a completed project. Okay, so let's hope, go back to Photoshop. Photoshop, and there we go. So what we want to do is we want to remember that magic number, and that's 1920 by 1080. So your screen across uh, in video production, our standard is 1920 pixels across and 1080 down. So how do we get that sort of template? Well, we're going to do this. So no matter what project you're doing, you're 99% of the time going to do this. So pay attention to this, memorize this, and here we go. Create new. Film and video. So there's different categories up here later when we do posters, we'll go into print. Other things, you know, art and illustration, but the one that we're using 90% of the time is film and video. And then all you do is you check, it's the first one here, it's HDTV 1080p, and that's 1920 times 1080. When we double click on that, just like your wallpaper that you guys made, you guys will see the template for that 1920 across, 1080 down. So whatever we put in there, um, our are constrained by th those particular dimensions okay um, and these turquoise bars right here are called safes or safe margins and they're used uh, for text usually so what we just want to remember is when we're making text we don't want to put them outside this turquoise box sometimes we can get away with putting it in the second box but uh, it'll be cut off on projectors and older TVs and things like that so there are some rules that we follow and uh, the rule for text is we want to keep it in there. We're not using text in this project, so let's move on. So um, I did give you guys a folder full of media. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go and bring in the castle in the background. So how do we do that? We're going to go File. You're not going to go File Open, but you're going to go File Place Embedded. 
So everything that you bring in, you know, there's times to go file open when you're working on some posters and things like that. But right for, for the general rule, when we want to place an object um, inside this template right here, we always go file, place embedded. Okay. Um, and then you're going to map to your master folder, Photoshop, Castle Practice. There it is right there. So it's number one. I put them in in order so that you bring them in. So number one, castle, two, knight, three, dragon. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to bring in the castle. And if you look, the castle is exactly, is exactly 1920 by 1080 because it fits right to the pixel. Okay, if you bring in something like this, uh, it's still acceptable. You can always, you know, upscale uh, the picture. Okay, but if it's really small like this, um, I would go back and get a different background uh, if you're doing your own project. But this is 1920 by 1080 that I give you right here. Okay, so um, here we go. Um, you look around Photoshop right here and you look and you go, wow, there's a few things happening. The first thing is there's a tool palette over here. So all the tools that we learn and all the different functions of Photoshop are held within this tool palette. The first one we're going to use, always use, is the move tool. So when you want to move something like I was before, you can move things around. Now you notice that I have transform controls. These are these little boxes right here. Okay, you can see one, two, three, four. And when you move one, it affects everyone. Okay, later on, if you hold down shift, you can start distorting things uh, if you want. Uh, if you hold down shift, you can just change the properties of one. Uh, but um, you can see that we can move using the transform controls. If yours don't show up, these boxes right here, these transform tool nibs right here, dogs, what you can do is you hit the move tool up here. You go up and you make sure auto select is selected and show transform controls. Um, for some reason, Adobe thinks um, that this should be turned off by default. We always turn this on in our class. So make sure that's on. And if you do, if it, you can't see those those resizing handles, of course, you're going to just click that and now you have them. Anyways, so let's move on. That's the first tool that we're going to use. Okay, so there's my castle. Um, right here is our uh, layers. So it's like back in uh, kindergarten when you guys cut out a whole bunch of pictures and magazines and you piled them on top of each other and you try to make it look good like a collage and uh, then you glued them down when you were happy. Okay, so Photoshop is exactly the same thing. We have a background layer, and if you look, it's white. Okay, it doesn't always have to be, but uh, it's really not doing anything right now because we have uh, an image covering it. But just leave that, and we have one castle background. So now what I want to do is I want to bring in a knight. So here we go. I'm going to bring in another element of this. I'm going to go file, place embedded. I'm going to bring in two knight. So now I have a JPEG with a uh, not transparent background, it's white, that we have to cut out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool, this third one down, it's the lasso tool. Okay, and some of them that have this little triangle, a drop down menu, you can right click and you can change the properties. My favorite is the polygonal lasso tool. Um, I'll show you what that does first, and uh, this is the first tool that we're going to learn other than move tool. Um, when you're cutting out, you always want to zoom in as much as possible. Watch what happens when I hold down Option on the keyboard and scroll. So I can zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can here just to show you. And again, if I wanted to hold down the space bar, I can also just kind of move things around if I wanted to, if, I, you know, if I'm working on certain things. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to start cutting this out. Okay, so let me just make sure this is move down there we go mistake there we go so if you look the castle is on the bottom and now the knight is on top so just like that collage the thing i talked about a little bit the analogy in kindergarten uh cutting out paper you can grab things and put them in certain layers in order in the layer so i'm going to drop this one on top of course, whatever is on top wins, and you can see so things. So um, you can see the castles in the background. So if you can't see your knight, it means you just dropped it here. Just bring it up in the layers. So layers. 
Photoshop is layers. So now what I want to do is I'm going to I'm going to click, click, click with my mouse click and double click. And when I do that, um, when I hit delete, this everything in the middle of this should go in the white. So when I hit delete, well, look what happens. Now this is a quick little lesson that when you bring in objects and media and JPEGs and different graphics into Photoshop, you have to prep them. And the, the way that we prep them is rasterizing. So it says it's not directly editable. Whenever that happens, get in the habit, you're going to have to right click right here on the night and you're going to have to rasterize the layer. There we go. So now when I hit delete, it only, um, the cutting tool right here, the lasso tool, um, only affects the layer that I'm working in. So that's why it's not cutting out the castle in the background. Double click. There we go. So I'm just going to do a quick little cutout right here. There. Um, and now uh, I am ready to do some, some kind of detailed work again. You can hold down the space bar to move. You can hold down option and scroll. And what I want to do is I want to zoom in as much as I can right here. I'm going to start on the top of the head right here. So the more you zoom in, the easier it's going to be and more detailed work you're going to do. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. So I'm going to go click, 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 click. And, uh, you know, you could go around the whole thing, but I don't do that because if you make a mistake, you have to start all over again. So I cut it out in little chunks. Okay. Do the best job you can. Again, the more zoomed in you are, the better. Okay, so I'm just cutting out everything and it's going to take me a while to do that. To cut out all this white right here. Take your time. Double click. There we go. So that's the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut that all out. Okay, so I'll be right back. I am going to uh, cut this all out and I'll be right back when it's done. Okay guys, welcome back. I have uh, finished cutting out all the background white out of the night here. Uh, and now what I can do is I'm going to place the night. This is using a rule of thirds. This isn't the best place to put this night right here, right in the middle, right? Um, so I'm going to try to use the best choice that I can to put this night somewhere. Um, so I'm going to try to keep um, according to the rule of thirds. This might be a really bad thing to do because uh, you cannot see the detail of, of the knight right here. So make some choices. We want to try to uh, put the knight where he pops out. And I think that if we put him right here, let's make him a little bit bigger. I think that's good right there. I'm going to leave the knight there. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to bring in uh, the dragon. Now the dragon, I won't kid you, uh, the dragon is the hardest. It's the most detailed thing. So how do we bring in an object? File. Place embedded, dragon. Okay, it is an it is almost 1920 by 1080, so it's a very good, um, very good quality uh, graphic right here. Okay, so um, remember that when we start cutting it out, we're using our polygonal lasso tool. It's not going to work because we have to rasterize. So on the dragon, right click, rasterize layer. Now you can start chopping. Now it's, it's all a preference, but what I do is. I go really slow, so I, I take out chunks at a time. It's going to save me a little bit of time. Okay, and if you make a mistake, say you cut a wing off or something like this. Okay, whoops, I cut a wing off, it's gone. Remember, you can go Command Z, we'll bring it back. You can do that as infinite time uh, to, to go back if you've done something wrong. Okay, so polygonal lasso tool. Um, now here's what I'd like you guys to do is zoom in as much as you can. It doesn't matter where you are, but I'm click, 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 double click. So again, you saw that I am going very, very slow. Okay, don't take too much chunks. <laughs> don't take too many... Um, clicks because if you do and you make a mistake you're going to waste a lot of time so i mean it's uh, it's your preference if you want to take out bigger chunks okay um but me myself i like going very slow so this is going to take you a long time to cut out okay so take your time make some choices of course you're not going to leave um text in here and cut that all out cut everything out nicely and again you're going to zoom in 
as much as you can to do that. How do you do that? Option scroll. And remember, you can move things around by holding down spacebar. So you can get really detailed. And the more you zoom in, again, the more detailed you can be with your proper cutting. Uh, it's really going to show that if you've done this properly. If you rush through this, it's going to show. It's going to be sloppy. Um, and it's really going to show if you take your time. So I, this is part of the project for getting your marks is your detail mark. I want you to be able to sell this, that this is actual a um, matte painting, like a um, uh, something that we can use in our video. Okay, So if we ever wanted to use this clip in the, our video, it's 1920 by 1080. We can just save it as a JPEG or PNG, and we can just import it into our project. But that's down the road. Okay, So let's have a look at a completed project again to see what the, uh, uh, the cutting would be for that using the lasso tool. So in, I made a folder in your folder that Olivia did last year. And uh, look at that. So she cut out the dragon very nicely. And um, you know, her choice was to put it up, to, up top here on the castle. Some people put it right here in this negative space here that's not used. Um, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of other things that have to be put in the sky, these birds. But that's a different lesson. I'll talk about that a little bit more. So. This is just to get you started in Photoshop. So um, again, Photoshop right here. What I'd like you guys to do is um, know that uh, you have to save your PSD. And a PSD is a Photoshop file. So this is important that you guys go file, save as. And you're going to use proper naming conventions. So it's always your first name. Oops. Bad, Mr. Place. It's there we go. Um, Vista Place VP20S. Let's say it's S1 for semester one, 2021. And it's called Castle. Castle.psd. We're going to save that in our master folder in our Photoshop Castle folder. So um, say it's time to go, guys. Everybody leaves. You shut down Photoshop. Okay. Uh, you come in the next day. Okay. So you can open. Your castle PSD, where did it go? It is right here. And it's also down here too, but uh, we can open that and continue working. Okay. When we are finished this project, I'm just going to bring in a uh, finished project. So I'll be right back. Okay, when we finish our project and we're happy with it and there's no more we can do to it, we're going to do that again. We're just going to hit save. That's going to be our PSD. And now we want to export it. So there's always going to be two saves and two files to every project that we do in this course, uh, no matter what it is. And you're going to hand in both. So watch this. File. Export. Export as. We're going to export as a JPEG. We're going to have great quality. Okay, so the best quality we can. So JPEG, great. It's 1920 by 1080. We don't have to change anything. We hit export, and now it's going to prompt us, where do we want to save it? Well, we don't want to save it in documents. We want to save it on the desktop, your master folder, Photoshop. Well, let me just change this to icons. You guys like icons, I think. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, Photoshop, Castle Practice. And you're going to call it the exact same thing. Your name, VP20S, S1, 2021, Castle. And when you save it, you think it's going to overwrite this one that you've already done. It won't because the file extension is going to be a, a, a JPEG, JPG. Okay, so then the last thing that you're going to do, let me just give a timeout again. Okay, and the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go, now that your two projects files are saved, you've got the PSD, which is the Photoshop file, and the JPEG, you're going to go find them. Okay, and they're in your master folder. There they are. And let's just find them down here. 
So I've got a JPEG and I got a PSD. I'm going to grab both of those and make, make sure that they're named properly. We're going to copy those and we're going to hand them into the hand in folder. Okay, so the hand in folder is in video production alias, hand in folder, make choices. So if you're in VP 20S period three, double click, Photoshop, it's a Photoshop project, castle, right click, paste. So I'm the first one to paste things. By the end of the week, uh, there'll be like uh, 60 files in here and there's 30 kids. So two each, remember to put your JPEG, your PSD, naming conventions, and you will be happy. Okay, so there's a lot more to this project I haven't talked about, but um, uh, we will be going over that. But this is, if you're watching this video, it's, it's just for if you missed the class or you just need a refresher in Photoshop. So that's what this project is, and uh, I uh, wish you luck. Okay, place out.